probably a very well-known song of R.E.M., even if it's just for the title. I think a lot of people do know the phrase, what's the frequency, Kenneth? The rock song released in 1994, again by R.E.M. And that next song was actually a lot more recent. That was a request from Thomas in the Czech Republic, a long-time listener who finally tuned in on 9400 kilohertz uh, shortwave. And he said, could you please play Dreams Tonight by All Days? And the band is actually spelled A-L-V-V-A-Y-S, so it's all the E's. And uh, that was some indie alternative rock from 2017, and I thought it was a nice song as well. And uh, thank you again, Tom, in the Czech Republic. He said he was tuned in on the Tivdio V115 radio. That actually uh, was my own recommendation to him, and he said it's an inexpensive radio, and it really does a great job. So thank you very much for your feedback, Tom. And... Uh, I hope reception is good for you if you tune in this week. If you are tuned into this broadcast right now, I'd always appreciate if you do send me an email, long or short, um, just to let me know that you are out there tuned in. And even if you write in every week or if this is your first time writing in, it's always appreciated, and I always appreciate those who do write in regularly. If you do write in, I'll be happy to shout you out on the air. Matt and Nicole in Boston, Massachusetts, we're listening last week on a web-based shortwave radio. I said they're enjoying the broadcast, so thank you both for being tuned in on the web-based receiver. Uh, Janice, a very long-time listener in South Carolina, listening on WBCQ, and she said thank you for the fine show and great musical selection, and thank you for listening. I know you've been with this broadcast since the very beginning, so it's great to still have you here. Uh, Sarah, a regular listener in Pennsylvania, tuned in on SoundCloud. She said, I was so happy to hear Green Day last week. They're my favorite band. Yeah, Green Day can be uh, pretty good. They have a, a wide range of, of musical selections, and uh, you could usually always find some enjoyable tunes of theirs, whether it's from the 90s or even from the 2010s. Uh, they do a great job. Mike in Northern Illinois, uh, he said he's been an online listener of the broadcast as he's uh, never had a good shortwave signal at his location but he said anyway i was uh, out back cooking last week you know scanning around on the shortwave radio for some stations to listen to he said i found a good signal of uh, a british station on 99.55 kilohertz so i left the radio on and surprisingly enough after the program ended the orw came on afterwards and he said it was just absolutely perfect to hear your show when I least expected it. Well, thank you very much for your kind letter, uh, Mike, over in Northern Illinois. And yes, you actually caught the uh, transmission to South America on shortwave, but I, of course, the way things can propagate, it looks like some of the signal made it um, back up north to Illinois there, but it's great to hear uh, that you were able to pick up the signal inadvertently, so and I hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Also, Jordan in Scotland uh, listened on 9400 kilohertz with great reception. And Igor in Mirom, Russia, listened on 9400 as well and reported some decent reception to... Again, if you're listening to this broadcast, you can email me at vorwinfo at gmail.com. Well, our next music request comes from Becky and Koki Hansen, our longtime listeners and sponsors of the 7490 kHz transmission. They said, can you please play Kiss at the End of the Rainbow from the movie... The Mighty Wind. It's one of the most beautiful songs ever written for a movie, and for some reason this tune always fills me with great sense of loss. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you very much for your music request, and here it is. 